welcome back to your mats, everybody. We are going to have a little bit of fun. So there may be some laughing. People may fall out. We might fall on our face. But as Linda was saying earlier, we just get up, we brush ourselves off, and we try again. So for those of us who are rocking larger bodies, it's sometimes curious when we see arm balances that we might want to try. So this is an arm balance I've been working on, I'm not going to lie, for most of my life called Ekapada Kundanyasana 2. I really should, I always think it should be Kundanyasana 1, just because I think it's a lot less, uh, structurally it seems easier to me, but who knows, I struggle with this pose all the time. So I came up with a way with using a wall and a block to do this pose, and Linda is going to use just the wall. So first off, we're going to have to engage our hands really strong and make a shelf for our leg. So what I'm going to do first off is bring a block. And when we're using the block, we're going to use the block to help us lift our body up. So the block is going to be at our sternum. So you don't want to squish the girls. You want to have it just below our sternum. So then what I'm going to do, and you'll have to play with this a little bit, is reach back and take your left leg to the wall. And make sure it's extended so it's close enough that it can be extended and you can push into the wall for leverage. So coming onto your hands and knees, we're going to step our right foot right to the edge of the mat. I'm going to bring the block to where I think my sternum is and then I'll adjust, if it, I'll adjust it if it's not quite there. Then I'm going to slide my right leg back so my feet are touching the wall. So the ball of my foot is right at the baseboard. And then I'm going to take my right arm, slide it underneath my left as a shelf. I'm going to use my chaturanga hands. I'm going to push into the wall, find my sternum, lean forward, trust in the process, and extend out. And then try to smile, but you can't see me. So I'll look to the side and smile. And then when I want to come down, lower the knee down, slide, and come up. Shall we try it on the other side? All right, so now let's try it on the other side. And again, you just kind of play. So I kind of eyeballed where it might be. Stretch the right leg back so the ball of the foot is right on the baseboard. You can lower the knee. Step the left foot really wide to the end of the mat. And then remember, it's chaturanga arms, so you need to make a shelf for the leg. Then I'm going to make a shelf for my leg so that my knee can be on the back of my arm. Then I'm going to lean forward. Press into the wall, bend my elbow, whoop, walk my leg out. It slid out that time. And then press out <laughs> and play, yes, and smile. <laughs> and then release the knee down and push up. So if you're struggling with finding the strength to hold yourself up on the one arm, you can play with this at the wall. Practice, 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 start to inch away from the wall until this becomes something you do without the wall. Or like me, never leave the comfort of the wall. But it's just about having a little bit of fun with this pose. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Namaste.